Hello folks, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to Wizardry 6. Last time we uh, did quite a bit of shopping with Queequeg, and uh, we've started to be able to unlock these doors. We also uh, finished exploring the uh, all the towers, so that's nice, but uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, keep on keeping on trying to explore these rooms now that we can uh, open them. Yeah, there we go, excellent. Nicely done, Elise. All right. An encounter! Oh, of course it's bats. It's always bats. Let us fight the bats. We'll go ahead and uh, do some strong attacks on the, the main group there. Uh, da, 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 da. We can try out our bless spell, I suppose. Uh, and then we'll use the loot on this main group here as well. All right. Ow. Ow. <laughs> there's a good hit. And there's a good hit. And that's okay, you missed. That's par for the course. With a heart ranger, unfortunately. Uh, I didn't see what happened with the bless spell. Did it go off? Did it fizzle? I'm not sure. Uh, that's, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Go ahead and we'll just bash and use the loot once again. She's not getting much in the way of weapon skills, at least, but... Uh, she's doing, uh, you know, she's doing a good job nonetheless. Can't complain. Gonna have to actually heal up Nurb here pretty shortly. There we go. Nurb's actually getting double hits now, too. He's becoming quite the beast. Uh, I think we just do some more of this. And, uh, let's have you heal wounds rank... Yeah, just rank one probably on Nurb, and let's uh, let's have you get in there with a little bit of a little bit of magic to do the thing. I think uh, the heal wounds did not do very much, <laughs> unfortunately, and everything's dead. A few remnant, re yeah, excuse me, a few remnants of broken chairs lie clumped in this one dainty parlor. This once da dainty parlor, I, I assume. Uh, yeah, let's get that heal going for real, though. For real, for real. Like, you could heal more than one HP. That would be nice. Thank you. All right, what do we got? Doesn't look like a whole hell of a lot, does it? <laughs> Still, we're uh, we're uncovering the secrets of this castle. A little bit out of time here. Just taking the opportunity to search since we don't have anybody with scouting right now. We wouldn't know if uh, we wouldn't know a secret if it bit us in the ass. At least not yet. Someday though. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's try. Let's try going in here. Oh, the old uh, after save encounter. That's fine. And loot. Yes. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if we'll be able to open these these doors or not. Uh, they might be a fair bit more difficult than the uh, the other doors. They might not be, though. They might be about the same, since we're on the same level of the castle, if that makes any sense. Man, these giant rats are not fucking around. They have a ton of HP. They do not stay asleep, either. Come on. You can do it. Do the thing. Kill the guy. Loot. Okay. Ow. You can fit in the leg. That's not good. I don't think these uh, rats can do like disease or poison or anything. I don't even know if disease exists in this game. Now that I think about it, but uh, let's go ahead and try and open this door, shall we? Yeah, she can possibly do it, and she did. Good job. What do we have in here? An encounter. More rats. Cause why? Why would? Why would we expect anything else? Uh, all right, we're gonna try and kill these rats in the back here, of course. Uh, probably just a bash is fine. And we'll do the loot. All right. We're actually starting to hit things when they're not asleep. <laughs> once in a long while, once in a blue moon, we were able to uh, to make that happen, which is nice. Man, we kicked that giant rat for 12 damage and he's not not even phased. Good lord. Uh, I'm gonna have you just do like a just a regular old energy blast there, and then we're gonna use the loot on the other group of rats this time. Ow. 
There we go. Ow. Hey, a little bit of damage. I don't mind that, though. It's fine. There we go. We got the other rat. Good. Now it's just pretty much cleanup crew. And we can actually have her just shoot as well. Maybe she'll uh, get a skill point. Or maybe uh, everybody will kill everything before she even gets to go. That's fine, too. The majestic splendor faded long ago from this grand hall. The corpse of a decaying dining table long enough for half a hundred people now rests crumbling upon the floor. That's quite large. All right. All right, well, I guess we'll uh, see what we got going on here. Probably better save. We're starting to get some good XP, so we should see uh, another level of some kind before too long here. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do, but I don't mind saving again. <laughs> okay, nothing there. Nothing there. Doesn't seem like there's much going on in the uh, in the walls here, so... Uh, can we just, uh, what, can we just walk Ow. through this door? No, it's locked, okay. Ow. This door, also locked. Very well. Let us proceed with the picking. hoo -ya! Failure! And it's jammed. That's too bad. Let us try this again. Oh, we had a lot of green on that one. I'm a little surprised we didn't get it. There we go. Let's just gonna let me take a look at Elise real quick. What are her physical skills like? Yeah, skill are already up to 18. Was was up to 11 last time we leveled her up, so. We're making some good progress uh, with that, which is really nice to see. Have her heal herself a little bit. She's gonna have everybody heal themselves probably after this fight. Um, da -da -da -da, yes, probably just stick with the regular plan on this group here. And da -da -da -da, maybe do one of those and uh, use the loot. Okay. Lots of damage from that sort of striking. It's real good. I'm going to be sad when we change her class and she can't use it anymore. Man, Lima getting lit up here, too. Alrighty. We do that, we do that. Uh, try hiding. Basically, when you hide, uh, you get a bonus to your next attack of some kind, I think, and it also increases your AC. So it's something <laughs> to consider doing. Oh, I don't want you to fight, actually. I want you to cast uh, Heal Wounds at level 2 on her. Hopefully it doesn't fizzle back up. I also want you to use the loot. Okay. Yeah, she failed to hide. That's okay. Oh, and she died. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Well, we'll... We'll finish the fight anyway. I uh, don't really have anything that we can do here. I guess we'll just do it like that. It's too bad because we're probably going to get a level. It's going to be great, but then we're not going to be able to keep it. Hey. Okay, let's uh, let's try that again, shall we? Let's let's also take the the time to. Maybe do a little bit more healing before we uh, we run in there again. And I think, did I heal with you? Yeah, okay, so we'll do that. Not very much healing there. Ulu can do a heal on um, Nerb, I guess. That's fine. And we got just enough, I think, on Fempo. Oh, we got enough for, for a spare heal. Just do one of those. All right, let's try this again. Ow. Oh, shit, we have to reopen it, don't we? That's annoying. Come on. Yeah, come on. Nope, not, uh... Not gonna happen, huh? <laughs> oh, we're so close. I'm the worst at timing. There we go. I'm surprised the tumblers didn't get jammed on that one. All right, here we go. Oh shit, this is so much worse. Bushwhackers, they can actually cast some spells. Okay, well, uh, we're going to fight the big group first, I guess. Uh, like so. And uh, you might as well 
Might as well get serious here. I can use the loot on the big group here. Throwing dirks. Please don't. Please don't do that. Please uh, stop stop hitting my guys. If you can just stop hitting all my guys, though. <laughs> I would appreciate this a great deal. All right, so those guys are going to go to sleep. Fizzled on the en energy blast. He needs to get some, some oratory skill, I think. Otherwise, it's going to be a problem that recurs. Uh, all right, we're going to fight this group again. Does she have any... Uh, does she have... Uh, no. I thought she she might have... Somebody somebody else has energy blast, I thought. But I guess not. Or no, no, at least does, of course, yeah. Ah, uh, da, da da He doesn't have any more magic, so... <laughs> makes that easy. I'm going to use the loot on this other group this time. Ow. We're not dead yet. That was a nice kick. That was a nice hit, too. All right. I think we're going to live through this, probably. <laughs> probably. I'll do one of those, and instead of the loot, I'm just going to have you do energy blast. There we go. One damage. Oh, yeah. Didn't even wake him up. <laughs> oh, good times. All right. We did it. Lots of XP and inferior sword, suede, doublet, three iron keys. Lots of loot here. That's pretty good. Uh, I guess we'll just give this stuff to uh, Gertrude and Nerb. We'll give the keys to Elise. An old stone oven and fallen shells tell of a kitchen where royal feasts were once prepared. Now it is time who is the chef, and the kitchen has become the meal. Oh, how, how artistic. Uh, let's save the game. Just to be safe. All right. Start searching around here. Probably actually better consider resting. So we're low on everything right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see here. Uh, he's got a lot of magic back. Do one of those. And uh, Gertrude, yeah, we'll do one of those. All right, we're looking a lot better now. What else have we got in here? A whole lot of nothing so far. Uh-oh. I think the game froze. <laughs> uh... Huh. Interesting. One moment. All right, we're back here. Uh, that's fine. So, yes. Search. Nothing. Search. Nothing. Okay, the game's not frozen now. That's good. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. And a whole lot of nothing there. All right. We didn't really lose any progress, so that's, that's, that's just fine. Let's, uh... See if we can pick this door as well. Seems seems like it's possible. Uh, it's jammed. That's fine. Uh, let's. Uh, no, let's use one of her keys. I think these iron keys are only good in like this area. So, bare stone shelves line the walls of this former pantry. Seems inconvenient to have the pantry like on the opposite side of the dining hall to the kitchen, but. What do I know about architecture? Very little. So possibly nothing. <laughs> Doesn't seem like there's anything in here, though. Fair enough. All right. Well, we've... We've explored this side. Ow. Let's take a look at this side. If we can. Open. Pick. Elise. Easily done. Yeah, she's getting really good at this now. An encounter. Vines and creeping vines. Uh, the creeping vines are probably worse, <laughs> I guess. Uh, wait, does Nerb have? Nerb has energy blast. That's that's right. Okay. Uh, well, let's go ahead and we're, st we're still gonna just, you know, just fight these guys the old-fashioned way, I think. Uh, let's use. No, 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 no. You fight too. Uh, everybody fights, and uh, then we're gonna. Also put those to sleep. Ah, shit. The other ones are the other other vines. God damn it. <laughs> oh, dear. Who's asleep? We got... We got uh, Fenpo and, El <laughs> and Elise right now. Well, uh... Let's do these vines instead, I guess. 
There we go. Oh, one of them's still uh, still up, huh? A little bit of damage, not much. But uh, I'm gonna stay the course here. I'm actually gonna have her. She can do an en energy blast on the fuming vines. That's fine. One damage, totally, totally worth. <laughs> There we go. I think uh, that one damage just woke Ulu up, so that helps a little bit. A very, very little bit. Uh, let's actually have you do an energy blast. And then we will use the loot again on those. Regular vines don't seem that bad. Man, yeah, these fire spells are not really holding it down right now. I don't think these guys have, like, terribly huge fire resistance or anything. I think it's just getting kind of crappy rolls right now. Uh, but we'll, uh, I'm just going to keep doing level one fire spells because that way we won't run too much of a risk of uh, fizzling or anything like that or having mishaps. It's wicked lag in the game right now, <laughs> these animations. Slowly but surely. All right. Uh, oh, she can, uh, she's awake now. She can probably do some, some damage here. Do one more energy blast there, which is probably not even as good as just attacking, but that's okay. Oh, there we go. I spoke too soon. Now we're getting somewhere. And all the other vines are now asleep. Excellent. I think we got all the fuming vines. Almost. Almost. So we'll let her try and finish that one off, and then I'm going to move on to these guys. And she can actually she can fight those. That's fine. There we go. We've almost uh, almost cleared these these vines out. So we'll probably use the loot again. She's gonna have a hundred music seal by the time we're done here. <laughs> she, she's not even gonna be the bard. Okay, one last enemy. Let's 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 finish this guy off here, shall we? Excellent. Good job. Pretty good XP out of that as well. Fibrous shreds. I don't know what those are. Stain rot cling. Uh, or is that shreds? Fibrous shreds. I don't know, man. Of stained rot cling to the walls where colorful tapestry uh, once proclaimed. Or sorry, where, where colorful tapestry once pro proclaimed sovereignty in this official chamber, with grim mockery, the sweeter taste of a mighty throne perched high above the room is long turned sour, as it sits condemned to languish in its own final sentence. If there is any last judgment to be decreed upon this fallen chamber and tarnished throne, it must be gleaned from the decay that it laps upon its own dais as itself festers and rots, bearing witness to emptiness, filth, and stench, silently weeping tears of its own despoiled substance. Jesus Christ, the drama! I can't handle it! <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay. So, so basically there's a rat around and some shit on the walls. That's, uh, that's the layman's version of that, I guess. Uh, <laughs> okay. Someone had a, had a lot of fun writing that one. I guess D-Dub Bradley would be the guy. Uh, I think he's, I think that's the guy who designed this game anyway. So we're checking out the walls as usual, just to see if we have any buttons. We'd probably be able to see buttons, but... Maybe not always. Maybe not always. So it's good to good to check. Doesn't take that long anyway. Open. Oh, we have to pick. Do we have Ow. to pick? Yeah, we have to pick it. All right. Pick the lock. With Elise. Oh, easily done. Not even a contest. Although the excuse me. Although the small chamber seems as dilapidated. As the others, peculiar obtrusions up through the floor show signs of more recent invasion made by entities unknown. Hmm. Okay, that seems like it might be worth checking out. Let's, uh, let's take a look at what we got here. Examining the obtrusions, you detect some a dried olive goo around some of the uplifted floor stones. Okay. 
So somewhere in that square is something of interest, but we don't know what exactly. Uh... Dried olive goo. Oh, and some bats. Can't let us explore in peace, of course. Gotta... Gotta make things difficult. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I think these might be vampire bats. These are, uh, fairly, fairly tough. <laughs> Maybe, maybe giant bats as well. Huge bats, something like that. Ow. Ow. Oh, and he's poisoned. Shit. Uh, that could be a problem. Fight. 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 Spell. Heal. You. We'll use the loot. All right. Yeah, it is a vampire bat. What a dick. Decent XP. Oh, and we got another level. That's nice. Uh, nine skill points. That's a lot of skill points for us to distribute here. Uh, what shall we do with these skill points? Scouting, oratory, theology. Let's put, uh, let's get her up to like 25 theology. And then I'm thinking probably, uh, we'll put the other one into oratory. Cure poison? Cure lesser condition. I don't think that counts. Uh, hmm. I think we probably... Uh, let's take a look here. Identify Identify would be nice too, but I'm going to go Enchanted Blade. Ooh, or maybe Dispel Undead. Ooh, this is a tough one. Because since I know a little bit about this level, I think Dispel Undead is something we're going to want. Uh, even though Enchanted Blade we're going to want too, it's really good. It's like a, uh, a buff that we can cast out of combat to kind of prepare ourselves for harder combat. So they're both really good choices. Uh, but I think I'm going to start with Dispel Undead here. Um, that may or may not be the right decision. For now, though, we actually have to worry about... Healing up uh, Nerb here and uh, seeing if maybe we can get that cured. <laughs> that would be nice. Uh, so we're going to go over here and see if this fountain does anything for him. Oh, it does. Good. Good, good, good. That was a, that was a long shot. My, my, uh, my next option was going to be to uh, go down to Queequeg a bunch of times and hope that we can get a cure poison pot. <laughs> Because we don't have any on us right now. But uh, yeah, that works out quite well. I'm glad. Okay. So let's uh, let's see if we can open up this door now. Is this one even locked? Ow. Probably. Yep. All right. Let us pick it. Let us pick it. Thank you. In here we have a bunch of vines. Because why not? Fuming vines and creeping vines. Okay, so... We know for a fact that these fuming vines are going to be a problem, so we shall do all we can to uh, destroy them utterly. Let's cast Bless. This seems like a big enough fight for a Bless. We've got a lot of enemies in here. We'll use the loot. Ow. Ow. I would love it if we could... Uh, Ow. Get the uh, Felice could just do the thing. That would be like any time. There you go. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Even though two of them were unaffected, <laughs> it could be worse. All right. So we did get the bless off. I think so. We're, we should have an easier time actually hitting them. I believe that's what bless does. Increases your chance to hit by a certain amount, depending on the power level at which you cast the spell, probably. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and. See if we can finish off these guys, and we'll use the loot on those vines again. Because I don't want to get put to sleep if I can avoid it. We'll just make this take that much longer. These vines are not doing a very good job at uh, actually hitting us. Uh, I say as they hit us, <laughs> it looks like. But uh, but yeah, they, uh, they're they not p particularly powerful. They're just annoying. At least the, uh, the fuming ones are. I think the creeping vines are just kind of... Your more standard uh, type of vine. They don't uh, pose really quite as much of a threat. Or they mostly just attack. Uh, but yeah, this should be fine. 
kicking the vines, karate chopping the vines. Uh, I, uh, I imagine probably trying to shoot a vine with an arrow would be the most difficult of all uh, forms of uh, damage delivery. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Doing pretty good work on these guys. Oh, these guys are going to be done for, I think, probably this, uh, this round. Alrighty, what do we got? A fallen desk and several chairs lie crumpled on the floor of this regal private chamber. No doubt a place of counsel and costly bargaining. Interesting. Nothing there. We got nothing there. We got nothing there. Searching through the remains of the desk, you find an old torn parchment which reads, Summons of the Vicar, Vicar, Vi Vicar, Vicar, Vicar. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. I should, but I don't. <laughs> and Mistress to be paid one hundred gold pieces for the sale of the daughter Rebecca. Hmm. Other parts of the document are either missing or illegible. So there's some some daughter Rebecca who was sold. Hmm. Interesting. That doesn't sound good. We know that the king was really up to no good. The queen also up to no good. Uh, we know that from the uh, the intro from the from the uh, the manual that I had read in the first uh, at the end of the first episode. So not sure exactly what they were doing, but uh, doesn't doesn't sound good. But I think we've I think this is it. We've explored this entire floor uh with the exception of up north but we can't get through there yet so let's have a, a bit of a rest shall we all right oh an encounter because why not just regular regular old creeping vines that's fine it'd be nice if they hit someone to wake them up but we can do it this way too lima's getting two attacks per round now which is nice finpo is back up and we'll just fight. All right, let's do the thing. One damage. Good job. Her bow skill is terrible, to be fair, though. So we had her using a sling, and that's a different skill altogether. And uh, we'll just fight. There's a dead vine. And there's a dead vine. All right, good. 49 XP. Not, uh, not going to be enough for a level up, it looks like. Where do we want to go? Uh, probably. We can explore up here, maybe? No, not here. Uh, here, maybe. No, I guess not. <laughs> where does... Oh, right, no, I, I know where that one goes. Uh, let's instead probably go, uh, downstairs. At this point, I think that's probably our best bet. Let's see what we can uncover down here. There are a bunch of doors that were locked that we might be able to open now. Let's try. Pick this door with Elise. Failure. But if you could just pick it, though. Thank you. All right, there we go. We're getting somewhere. What do we got? Oh, geez. Oh, my God. Six scallywags, two rogue leaders, and three bushwhackers. That's kind of shitty. Uh, probably going to die here, but we'll do our best. Uh, I'm going to fight the rogue leaders. Uh, I think we're going to need one of those for sure. Uh... So who are we going to start with for the loot? Probably start with the Scallywags, since there's so many of them. Ow. Ow. Alright, that helps. Put all those guys to sleep. Hit a rogue leader. Fortunately, these aren't the good kind of rogue leaders, like in Star Wars. Bushwhackers advance. So yeah, enemies can, can change their formation, and it makes it harder for us to hit certain uh, enemies, depending on where they are, 
Uh, for example, now we would need a reach weapon to hit the rogue leaders who are all the way in the back, or like a ranged weapon or something, even if we're in the front, I think. Uh, yes. So check it out. We can only hit the first two, the first two groups here. So that's uh, something very important to keep in mind. Uh, we're going to actually start attacking these scallywags, though, since they are the only things we can reach. And uh, probably do a level two energy blast on the rogue leaders here. And we'll use the loot on the rogue leaders as well. Should be able to do some damage to the scallywags. Oh. We've got one of the one of those uh, rogue leaders is is asleep now, and we got a lot of damage on one too. There's our first first kill, I think. <laughs> Maybe our second kill. Rogue leaders are moving up. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, we definitely want to finish off the rogue leaders if we can. They're probably the most dangerous of the bunch here. So we'll do that. We'll uh, gonna have you actually throw a heal to uh, Lima. She doesn't have quite as many hit points and uh, could cast armor shield. We haven't even ever cast this, uh, but it's not really that good of a spell. I think I really should, shouldn't have taken that spell. It's not that good. <laughs> I don't think, uh, but we'll do that. And uh, we'll use our loot once again, probably on the Scallywags, because I think they can cast spells. Ow. Ouch. Ow. Please stop killing my guys. Oh, we got a crit on the rogue leader. That's excellent. Such a low chance. There we go. Both rogue leaders are dead. So that that is actually pretty good. Oh, one of our heals fizzled, though. That's not so good. Okay, so now what we do is we go ahead and we're going to try and take out the Scallywags, like so. And we'll do a heal on probably Gertrude, and uh, we'll use the loot on the Bushwhackers. Okay. So Gertrude's in pretty good shape. All of them are asleep. This is excellent. We're... we're Probably going to get through this, I think, without anybody dying at this point. Probably. Depends on a few things, but... Uh, do that. Do that. Spell. Heal wounds on uh, Alima. And let's just try and keep these guys asleep. Ooh, nice hit. Yeah, itching skin is bad news. Lowers our uh, our chance to hit, which is uh, like the opposite of what we want. I'm pretty sure that's what itching skin does anyway. I think well, it might also give us a chance to like miscast spells, at least a higher chance. I'm not quite sure, but it's not good. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It's definitely not good. We're just going to go ham on this uh, remaining scallywag here. I'm actually going to have her. She can do an energy blast. There we go, he's dead. <laughs> Makes my life easier. Those guys are still asleep. We're gonna get through this just fine. This is uh this is good. As long as we can hit someone. There we go, good job. Alright, we're gonna have to use the loot again, it looks like, but that's okay. Where there we go, alright. It's a lot harder to hit these guys when they're, they're dancing around, poking their knife every, knives everywhere. It's nice that when we don't get any penetration, <laughs> it's it's more like a more like a love tap, and they don't uh, they don't actually wake up sometimes. Hey, there we go. This is a lot of XP. We're probably gonna get yeah, thousand XP. Probably gonna get a level out of this with someone, I would think. We'll uh, give that to Fenpo. Yeah, Nerb leveled up. That's pretty good. He's got uh, some skill points to spend. I think we shall spend them in Thaumaturgy. Gets a new spell, which will be probably Chilling Touch. Because we don't need a sleep spell. We, we already get sleep for free. Uh, armor Shield, we're ne like never casting practically. Uh, so I think Chilling Touch is the one. Terror could be okay, maybe, but 
rather take the damage. Man, look at all his HP Ulu has. It's pretty good. Uh, let's see here. Six skill points, probably. Uh, I would like to actually do that just so she has those skills when we change, uh, or no, when he has those skills when we change his class as a, a man mook. <laughs> uh, but we'll put the rest in alchemy. New ranger spell. Good, 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 good. I think we go probably, I don't know if like poison, I don't know if poison itself is that good, but, uh, Itching skin could be good. I think acid splash is what I'm going to go with, though. I think uh, not many enemies have a ton of acid resist, so we'll grab that. She gets a new bard level. Her hit points are not very good at all, even though she has 14 vitality. Uh, let's see. We Obviously, we're going to give her like one point of ninjutsu here just so she can try to hide. And uh, she needs thaumaturgy, I just realized. She's got like none. So we'll give her, like, she she's, she can unlock stuff fairly well now, so give her that. Uh, she's got a little bit of oratory. I'll put another point into Skullduggery here. New Bard spell is good. I uh, think probably same deal. Go Chilling Touch on her. Yeah, that sounds good. Four stone tables divide the room and are so regularly placed that they make you think of a mess hall. Okay, all right, well, we're going to quickly explore this room and then uh, call it an episode. We're running, running a little bit long here. Doesn't seem like there's much going on. There's a door there. Okay, that'll do it for this episode. When we come back, we shall uh, open this door. But until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.